Quick, are you wearing a watch with Roman numerals? Have a look at it. Do you notice anything strange? Or are you sitting in a foyer with a grandfather clock? Or in a house with a grandfather clock? Look at the clock face. What do you notice? Or you by a window can see a, a town hall clock tower. Look at the face of that clock. It has Roman numerals. There's something very strange about the number four on a clock face with Roman numerals. Have you ever noticed this? Let me explain. Let me draw a clock face. So here's a clock face, and let's draw in some numbers. So the number 12 is indeed XII. The number 3 is III. The number 6 is VI. And the number 9 is IX. They're using the subtraction principle right there. The other numbers are 1 and 2. Uh, there's 11, and there's 10, there's uh, 7, and there's 8, and there's uh, 5, and then there's 4. Now, we use the subtraction principle for 9, but the amazing thing is if you look at a clock, either your wristwatch or a clock tower, if they've done it right, it's going to be 4 ones, not IV. This is very strange, a very surprise, much a surprise. So do it. It's consistent. It's absolutely consistent. Every single clock you look at will have four eyes, except there is the occasion some clockmaker who got it wrong. Now, why the change? Why, why not, if you're using the subtraction principle for nine, why aren't you using it for number four? It turns out the history of this is very, very opaque. I have no idea what the clue is. I've looked at books. I've looked at the internet. I do not know the true answer. No one seems to know the true answer. Um, my, the best theory I've seen is a convention amongst clockmakers that actually for static reasons it's kind of nice to have four ones here because if you look at it, it's nice and balanced with nothing but I's, we've got four numbers with nothing but I's, four numbers involving V's, and four numbers involving X's. So it's aesthetically pleasing in some sense. But there's all these theories about, you know, Roman emperors, the, the word Jupiter starts with a IV, and they don't think it's right to use that on something as, as mundane as a clock face, so let's avoid that and go I, 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 I. Or uh, apparently the Romans were comfortable doing subtraction principle for the number like nine, but they wasn't convention to do it for the number four way back then, so all their sundials had fours on them. Or there was some French king who decreed that... Uh, that uh, he wanted the aesthetics of this to be such that uh, the clock face was balanced in a nice, beautiful way. I would love to know the true story behind this convention amongst clockmakers. But look, it really is amazing. Every time you look at a clock face, and by the way, when you look at movies, and obviously when they've painted the background set, they often the, the movie painters get it wrong. The, it, it is consistently 1111, I, 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 for the number four. Really look at it. Once you start seeing it, you won't be able to not see it. All right, thanks so much.